Oh, good afternoon, everybody. I'm in Las Vegas. It's Monday, November 19th, 2018. And this year, I have chosen to stay at Paris Resort Hotel and Casino. And this is their classic room that they have to offer. It's uh, really their most economical room at about $60 to $65 per night. So for about $550, I'll be staying here for a total of five nights, and that includes taxes and resort fees. All right, so let's see what we got here. All right, we we'll walk into the bathroom. Seems to be the place where most people start for some reason. Well, it's definitely an older room. They don't call it a classic room for nothing, but it's definitely very well maintained, I have to say. Just because it's old, maybe a little dated, doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it or that it's dirty. It's just older. And what's nice about this place is you have a choice between a nice tub to soak in if you've got the time and you want to relax. Or if you're like myself, and you just like to get in and out real quick in the mornings or night, if you've got a lot to do, you've got a separate shower stall. It's definitely big enough to accommodate anybody. It's nice and clean. And of course you got the toilet right behind it. Gotta love this wall pattern. <laughs> I got a little phone right next to it. I guess that's just in case of an emergency or something like that. Uh, if you fall or if you've got some sort of a problem, maybe. And a full-size mirror there. Got to say, the beds are very, very comfortable. I had no problem sleeping on my first night last night. It's definitely very, very comfortable, these beds. Got two queen-size beds here. Somehow seem to wind up with that no matter where I stay. Got yourself a nice big Panasonic wall-mounted television. That is definitely about 40 inches. Not much of a channel selection, though. Serves more like a night light for me. Not a whole heck of a lot to watch at night. And you got your nice big armoire. put all your stuff in. Most of my stuff is in the three drawers here. Got these lighted side doors here which have the iron ironing board and uh, your safe which definitely holds a lot more than the safe I had at the New York New York. Wasn't impressed with that at all. Holds my DVD player, my camera, some extra money.
The other one is pretty much the same thing except without anything in it. I don't need it for anything, so... What a big surprise this is, is the fact that they give you a mini fridge. My past previous days in Las Vegas, um, none of the hotels offered a mini fridge, especially an economy room like this. And this is all my personal stuff. It's not previously stocked by the hotel, so that's what I thought I was going to see. I thought I was going to see a bunch of beer, water, wine, where even if you touch it or move it, it's yours. And help, this is all my personal stuff. It's not the coldest refrigerator in the world, but it works. Keep in mind, if you're staying in Paris, there's a CVS pharmacy right outside the north entrance. And the prices are great for beer, water, soda, snacks, anything. I paid five bucks for a bottle of water downstairs. 229 at CVS. All right, we'll get to the view here, the million dollar view. And as you can see, that's the first thing you see when you open up the drapes. It's not very appealing at all. I don't know what this is down there. Some sort of storage. I don't know what it holds, maybe roofing tour or something like that. So at first glance, you think, oh my God, the view here is terrible, but it's actually really not all that bad once you get past this. And you see you've got yourself a nice view of the Bellagio. You got a little glimpse of Caesars. And behind that, off in the distance, I don't know if you recognize that structure in between the Bellagio and Caesars, but that's the Rio. And then you got a glimpse of the mountain ranges back there. And, um, still not too sure what this structure is. And then you get yourself, uh, it's kind of hard to see. But the Eiffel Tower is there, trust me. I just can't pick it up very well on the camera, but it's not as bad of a view as you think. I could have upgraded to a better view, but I decided not to. But yeah, that's it. That's the Paris Resort Hotel and Casino. And um, thank you for watching. Happy Thanksgiving and uh, happy holidays. Take care.